All right, right guys, uh, uh, this, this is Andrew Dolan, and in this Mechatronics video, we're going to be talking about making a few more slots in a project here. So, so this, this is the project that we've been working on for a little bit here. I'll swap the uh, camera feed and show you what features we're going to be working on. Uh, this is how to mill out some slotted features. So uh, here's the drawing that we've been working off of. And, and this calls for four slots, slots. One, one, two, three, four. And, and you can see the center location of those slots are listed in here. And, and they are called out with a uh, three sixteenths or a, you know, designed for a three eighths inch bolt to go through. So uh, we've got the center locations for all of these. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drill all those center locations using a smaller drill bit first. So uh, the, the reason, reason I'm using a smaller drill bit is that, uh, again, end mills don't do a great job of plunging. So what, what I'm going to go through and just drill out the start, start and stop of each of these first. And, and then we're going to go ahead and, like we're, we're doing, doing it with a smaller drill bit, bit then we'll clean them up with an end mill and knock out the rest of the material forming the slot. So let's get into it. So I've already got the drill bit ready, the uh, part has been set up, we found its edges. This is all continuation of the setup that we had before. And we're just going to go ahead and knock out those drill locations. So the first location we're shooting for uh, on our drawing is over here at 0.75. So we'll get our digital readout lined up for 0.75. There it is. And I know you can't see that on the camera, but uh, I suppose I can swap my angles here and let me get you a nice shot of the digital readout. All right, guys, so there's a shot of the digital readout. Uh, the first hole that needs to be drilled in there, that slot, is at the 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So I've got that dialed in in my digital readout. And now we'll swap back to our hole. Go ahead and knock that out. Um, here we go. go. Alright. A couple, couple things, things I gotta worry about. I gotta get my guard back in place nicely. And uh, again, it's, it's nice having, having those lines. It's a little harder to see in this video. But let me zoom in and show you where those lines are at in my. Yeah, still, still kind of hard to see. You can see them a little, little bit better over here, but I have the location of where those slots are going to go all marked out, so I kind of have a nice visual of where things are at. So that's my first step here is to drill the start and stop of each of the slots. So let's get it done. There's a the start of one slot, and the end of it is at uh, 1.75. So I use my digital readout to get me to 1.75. And I give you a nice shot of that uh, as I'm working on getting it toward 1.75. That's pretty darn close. Again, the drill bit's a little bit smaller, so I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and get this hole drilled. And again, and again, I really, really like seeing those layout, layout lines ahead, ahead of time. time. Okay. okay, so, so I'm, I'm just going to repeat, repeat that, that for all the holes, all the four slots that we have to do. do. So, so sit tight. tight. Okay, so, so we've, we've gone ahead and drilled the beginning and end of each slot. slot. And, and this drill bit is again uh, about a sixteenth of an inch smaller than the actual slot that we're planning to make. So at this point, we're going to swap our drill bit out for the three-eighths inch end mill, and we'll go ahead and do what's called a plunge milling to form the rest of the slots. So let's get that done. Okay, so I swapped out the end mill, and 
what, what we're, we're going to do here is take a series of um, plunge holes rather than burying it in and then going, going across. across. We're going to go estimate about half the diameter of the tool, plunge down, pick it up, move over, uh, plunge down again. And that's going to create a slot of sorts, but it's going to have a bunch of jagged edges to it of uh, kind of half moons, you know, radiuses across there. So, so the first thing, thing we're going to do is, is you know, you know, this, this, this can, can be done just by eyeballing it, right? We, we move it over a little bit. bit. I'll, I'll show you the process here. Um, again, it's, it's about half the radius, uh, a little bit less, maybe a third, third the, the, the diameter, diameter of the cutter that we're moving it over each time. So I'm just using the manual plunge tool. And I'm just going along, kind of eyeballing this. And we're just plunging that slot. About a third the diameter of the cutter is all we're going here. And it'd probably be good to throw a little bit of uh, cutting fluid in there. So what, what we, we end up with when, when we do this plunge milling is a whole bunch of kind of half moon shaped, boy that's really zoomed in, Let's see if it can focus on that, it's having a little bit of a hard time, let me back out just a hair, uh, it's not a very clean slot, it is a slot, but it was done pretty crudely, so once that's done, what we can do is then sink the cutter in and then use our X and Y axes to clean up that whole slot. So let's get that done. Uh, I guess I can start on one end. It was at 0.75 here. And using my digital readout to find these locations. So there's the digital readout. Uh, I'm shooting for 3.75 and then 0.75, so just use that digital readout once get the part locked in. Okay, that's, that's pretty darn good. good. This, this point, we, we can bring our cutter into the material, and I'm gonna, uh, it gets pretty deep, so I'm gonna put a bunch of cutting fluid in there um, to help clear the chips out. So let's go ahead and get this done. Okay, so, so I've sunk the uh, cutter completely inside, and now, now we're just going to clean up that whole slot, taking our time as we work our way across, and, and we're going to make sure it stops at the right place, and that would be at uh, 1.75 inches. So I've been watching my digital readout as I'm going here, and I want to end at 1.75 inches. Give me a little bit of a feedback telling me that it doesn't like that very much. So I'm going to bring it to 1.75 and kind of lift the cutter up and out of there. I'll bring the, uh, the whole thing over to 1.75. Shot over just a little bit. That's pretty darn good. And now I'm going to plunge that cutter back in and finish this off. Pretty happy with that. And just, just like that, you have, have a nice slot. You can wait for it to stop before you stick your hands anywhere in there. And take a look at what we got with the brush. Pretty happy with the slot that we generated there. So that's a great way to remove the material in a slot. Uh, again, just kind of eyeballing it as far as taking off a uh, section about a third the diameter at a time, and then, and then once, once you get it all finished off, sink the end mill in there and zip it all the way across. So, so I just got to repeat that three more times for the other slots, and this part will be done. 
Uh, all right, guys, so, so we finished, finished up all four slots, slots on the mill, mill here. Uh, uh, looks, looks like this part is 100% finished. finished. All, all the features have been put in. Uh, so, so we can actually then unclamp it from the vise. It's, it's way, way easier to finish all of these steps if we do them in one setup. And we found that edge one single time. So uh, we're ready to unclamp it from the vise and then go ahead and deburr everything. everything. So, um, when, when I say, say deburr, there's, there's going to be some sharp edges throughout, and we can use a deburring tool or a file and go around and remove all those sharp edges by dragging that deburring tool over the edges in the slots. We can come and clean those up like so. And then there's more of the burrs on the back side we can definitely see. So take, take your time and deburr all of the things that really dresses, dresses up the part and something, something that we can be proud of. So there, there we go. go. That, that represents uh, another finished milling part. And, and in this case, we were able to demonstrate um, how we're able to make those slots. And it, it just a kind of reminder overview of that process. process. Uh, we, we drilled holes at the start and stop because end, end mills are not very good at plunging. So you drilled the holes through the drill bit, and then basically just came by with that end mill uh, about a third to a quarter of the diameter and just formed the slot, then dropped the end mill in, ran it all the way across, and it formed a really nice slot for us. So that's the end of this one, and we'll catch you guys next time.